What's up guys? Welcome to TRHD. In this video, I'll show you how to make a good quality professional high wattage loudspeaker. It's a simple do it yourself project. Just follow my instructions carefully and you can make your own speaker very easily. I'll show you the parts which are required for the speaker assembly. The speaker I'm going to assemble is a 12 inch one which has an output of 200 watts RMS and with an impedance of 8 ohms. First of all, you'll need a basket to assemble all the parts of the speaker. It's a 12 inch size basket. You'll also need a magnet for this speaker. For this 12 inch speaker, you'll need a 155 mm diameter magnet which holds a 2 inch voice coin. This is the magnet I'm going to use. This is the voice coil I'm going to use in my speaker. It's an 8 ohms 200 wattage voice coil. For different specifications, you can go for different coils with different impedances and power wattages. You'll also need a fabric spider, which is used to hold this voice coil, and a cone paper, which produces the actual sound from the speaker. Now I'll show you the assembling procedure. First, you have to fix the basket to this magnet using these screws and tighten them up using a screwdriver. After fixing this basket onto this magnet, now you can place a voice coil in this magnetic gap over here. Now I'll be using a teflon sheet like this to hold the coil in its place. Now I'm placing these teflon sheets inside the coil to hold the coil firmly in its place. Now it's time to fix the spider to the frame. Before fixing the spider, you need to apply resin over the surface so that it sticks to the frame and holds the coil rigidly. Now I am placing this spider like this. Now apply resin in between the spider and the coil. The spider has been placed perfectly. Now we can proceed with the cone paper. Before placing this cone paper on the body, you need to apply a resin over the edges of the paper and also on the surface of the body. Now I am applying resin to the surface of the body. Now I am placing the cone paper over the basket. After placing the cone paper, once again apply resin in between the cone paper and the coil. The cone paper has been fixed perfectly. Now it's time to place these gaskets at the edges of the frame. Now apply resin to this gasket surface. Now I have placed all the rubber gaskets to the edges of the speaker. The assembling part of the speaker has been completed. Leave the speaker for 2 to 3 hours for the resin to get hard. Later I'll show you how to solder the voice coil to the terminals. The assembly has been completed. Now I'm leaving the speaker to dry. The speaker is completely dry now. Now we can solder the coil wires to the terminals using this connecting wire. This is the connecting wire that I'll be using to solder. Now I'm soldering the coil wires to the connecting wires which have connected on top of the speaker paper. Now solder the connecting wires to the terminals. Now let's check the continuity of the speaker to see whether the soldering is perfect or not. Yes, it's perfect. The soldering part is complete. Let's remove these teflon papers which we previously placed. Now check the movement of the speaker. 
Yes, it's completely free. The speaker is almost ready. Now you have to apply glue on the soldered part and place a dust cap over it to prevent the dust from entering into the speaker. The speaker is now complete. Let the dust cap dry for some time, after which you can use the speaker. Now let's test this speaker using an amplifier. Let's play some music and check this speaker. Awesome! This sounds perfect! Okay guys, thanks for watching my video. Now make your own speakers and enjoy the music at your home. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe and stay tuned to my channel for more new awesome videos.